guys, I'm really sorry to do this, but I'm afraid we're going to have to skip the teaching segment of our program today. Let me explain. Our big idea is creativity. Creativity is using your imagination to do something unique. The animal is the bowerbird and the color is tie-dye. Really cool big idea, really cool animal, really cool color, just really cool, unlike me. I'm sorry, it's just I've been thinking a lot about this month's big idea and I just don't think I'm the person to come talk to you guys about how to be creative. I'm just not creative and I don't think I can really use my imagination to do anything unique. Hey, well that was a heartfelt talk, Melissa. So if we're going to skip our teaching segment, how about we get to our super awesome game? Wait, game? I didn't know you planned a game. I know, I sort of just came up with it. Wow, really? See, this is what I'm talking about, Tucker. You're creative. I'm not creative at all. That's nice. Okay, so I need two brave volunteers who aren't afraid of anything. Your teacher is going to help and pick two volunteers. Oh, crap. Great. That's awesome. Well, Tucker, what are we going to do with the sauce and the noodles. I'm, I'm not sure this is a great idea. Come on, Melissa. Who's the creative one between us? Well, you are, I guess. Exactly. Okay, I have my brave volunteers, and here's how the game is played. It's very simple. One volunteer will try to trans transport as much spaghetti sauce to the center of the bowl in 30 seconds, only using a large fork. So, just like that. The other volunteer's job will be to transport as much spaghetti noodles as they possibly can to the center bowl using only a ladle. Volunteers, have your tools ready. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Fix me some lunch! Don't kill each other. There's noodles flying all over the place. All right, well that didn't go as well as I hoped. Honestly, I was hoping you guys could make me lunch, but you failed. I mean, you were just terrible. Really, I mean, you guys should have gotten way more to the middle, but both of you were just terrible. Tucker, can we stop this? You're acting ridiculous. What? Um, they weren't bad at the game. You just had a bad game. <sighs> are, are you saying I had a bad game? What are you talking about? Well, it's not their fault they couldn't move sauce with a fork or noodles with a ladle. I mean, you should have had the ladles move the sauce and the fork move the noodles. Well, that is kind of a good point, I guess. Honestly, you just had the wrong tools doing the wrong jobs. That's it. That's exactly it. Wait, what do you mean? Melissa, do you know what this month's animal is? Sure, I just went over it with the kids a few minutes ago. That's right, it's the Bowser Bird. When the red and green pair of plumbers save the princess, they do it because of creativity. Um, Tucker, the animal of the month isn't the Bowser Bird, it's the Bower Bird. It's our animal of the month because they actually use their creativity to build bird huts that they stay in. Really? I didn't know that. How do you remember all that stuff, Melissa? I, I don't know, I just do. But what I don't remember is you explaining why you did this weird game. I'm assuming it has nothing to do with Mario. Okay, so I might have been off about the animal of the month. But you were really close with what you said. I had the wrong tools for the wrong job. So? Listen, Albert Einstein once said, If you want to open a can of tuna, throw it at a tree. What? I, Einstein never said that. I think you're thinking of another famous quote of his. Most often it gets attributed to Einstein, but we're not exactly sure if he said it. But anyway, it goes like this. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. I don't think that's it. Stupid's not a nice word. Well, you're exactly right. It's not, which is why the quote is a good one. I mean, we talk a lot about how we should treat others right, make smart decisions, and maximize our potential. People not, might not always make smart decisions, but nobody is stupid. Einstein's point was that if you compare yourself to other people, you might think you're not smart, even though there are some things you're really good at. Wow, you are really smart, Melissa. How do you remember that? 
I don't know. I guess I'm just good with facts and quotes. Exactly. What? Melissa, you started out today saying that you aren't creative. Yeah, I just don't feel like I'm very good at using my imagination to do something unique. What's, what's that? Remember that one time when I kept showing up to our shows, shows late, I kept pushing the snooze button on my alarm? So you tape my alarm clock to my toy car. That way, when I hit the snooze button, the, um, the toy car would roll away so I wouldn't oversleep. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. How about that one time I was terrified that the tooth fairy would steal my teeth to make her quota, so you told me to keep these under my pillow. Yeah, that was a really weird phobia that you had. Or how about that one time that I kept forgetting how to tie my shoes, mm -hmm. so you made me belt shoes, the laceless shoe. Mm -mm, I didn't make those, you did. I bought you a pair of Velcro shoes the next week. <laughs> yeah, those worked really well too. Um, but what's with all this stuff, Tucker? My point is, that of course you're creative. I mean, you're using your imagination all the time to help me be on time, be on script, and just be a better host in general. Well, that's nice of you, but... Let me finish, Melissa. You said you weren't creative. You're looking at yourself like a ladle when you're more of a fork. You're comparing me to silverware. Melissa, you are good at keeping me on track. You're good at remembering facts about animals of the month and remembering quotes from Einstein. That's what you're really good at. I'm, re I'm really good at making jokes, having fun, and playing games. Except for my lesson game we did a few minutes ago. <laughs> that one was terrible. Wow, you actually did a pretty good job with this, Tucker. I mean, you're right. This is true for the kids, too. There might be a kid out there who isn't much of an artist. Maybe he or she thinks that means they're not creative, but they're really good at math instead. Right, and they could draw pictures of numbers. I was going to say something else, but that is a very creative answer. That's creativity, using your imagination to do something unique.